can you hear me? Can you hear me? I have Babs with me today, my friend. She wanted to learn how to make this amazing pasta dish, so that's what we're doing today. This is gonna be fun. So you guys, this is a test I'm doing. Instead of me going live and myself, I thought it'd be cool to cook with one of you guys. So whether you're here in my kitchen like Miss Babs or if we do it Zoom-wise. So I need you to tell me what you think about this concept after we do it. You guys are the inner, inner people, so you have to tell me what's working and what's not. So we're drinking a little Prosecco because we're doing a Southern Italian dish. We deserve it and we're fancy. But I hope you guys are sipping a little something too. Mm. So we are jumping right into this pasta dish. It's a Southern Italian dish. The lemons down there are phenomenal. You've been to the Amalfi Coast. You know the lemon situation. I mean, they're just known for lemons. It's so good. But you can make this dish with our little Kansas lemons just as good, <laughs> and it's fabulous. And I love this dish because it literally takes 15 minutes, but this is a quick, quick weeknight meal for you. And at the end, I'm going to show you how you can add proteins to it, veggies to it, make it more low carb. So we're starting with a pot of boiling water. Always, I like to get my pot boiling way before I'm getting on live or having friends over just because I don't have to wait for it 100% to come up to boil. I'm going to add the salt. And this is the one thing when I'm teaching my cooking classes that I feel like people are most shocked about and that's how much salt we use when we cook pasta because pasta doesn't have flavor unless you add salt. So this big pot I have here, I am adding a whole heaping tablespoon and even a little more. Now all that salt's not getting into your pasta, mm. so you don't have to worry about it. It's just flavoring it and making it delicious. And the kosher salt, you can use more of it. That's wow. good, yes. I use kosher salt for all the cooking and most chefs do. And the difference in kosher salt and table salt is basically the size of the grain. Like chefs like it because when you grab some kosher salt like this, you can control where you put it here. If I did that with table salt, it would just plop right down so you don't get an even seasoning. The reason why you want to use kosher salt is most recipes are created with kosher salt. So if you do a tablespoon of kosher salt and you use table salt, you're using about a tablespoon and a half of salt. So it may be way too salty for you. Yep, you can use this or you can use diamond crystal. So that's that. And now what I have here, we're just talking about ingredients for, first off. This is Parmesan Reggiano. It's the classic cheese for this recipe. You could sub Pecorino if you wanted, but the main deal with this is you have to have the cheese say Parmesan Reggiano. It has to say both words because if it doesn't say both words, well, not the real it. deal. It has so much more flavor. You don't have to use as much. And when you're only using a few ingredients, you want them to be really good. Parmesan Reggiano. And I like to use an egg in my recipe. It gives it that silky feeling. You can omit this if you want. So I'm just gonna do the yolk. Made a mess already. So pop it right in my cream. But first off, I'm gonna put my pasta in. Now it's come up to a very big boil. Now this recipe, you can use a whole pound of pasta or you can make a half a recipe easy just to cut all the ingredients down. I'm making a pound because that's how we roll, right? Right. You don't need any olive oil in your water. You only need to give it a great big fat stir when you put it in there. I'm gonna start getting my pan hot. Right there. I am adding this whole bit of pasta and I'm gonna give it a big zhuzh. So cream, it calls for heavy cream. If you don't want to use heavy cream, you could sub coconut milk, which will give it a tiny bit different flavor, but still give it the creaminess. If you don't have cream, you can, but you can use milk and butter, you replace that, or you could even use yogurt if you wanted, but use full fat yogurt, but nothing's as good as the cream. Make it easy when you do the Thank you, Babs, because you know, we like the real deal. I'm just giving my pasta a zhuzh. All right, so all I'm doing is I'm going to add the butter, and this is about three tablespoons, four tablespoons, whatever. Again, it doesn't have to be exact, but at least three tablespoons for a pound. And I'm just gonna let that melt in the skillet. Now, once that melts, I'm gonna turn it off because my pasta is probably not gonna be done in time, but I just want this ready to go for me. Then I am putting in my cheese, and yep, half cup. All right, so we're gonna put this straight in the cream and whisk that up, and then I'm gonna start grating a lemon. Now, lemons are all different. Look at this lemon compared to this lemon. I mean, is that insane? I thought it was grapefruit. So basically you're gonna want about a tablespoon of lemon zest to start, then we're going to juice half this. But always zest it first because it's very hard to zest it after you juice it. So I turn my skillet off because I don't want it to get too hot and I'm just gonna zest this. This is a microplane that I use. Really, really good way of doing it. Half of a lemon you said? I'm gonna grate the whole lemon because okay. I want about a tablespoon, but again, it may make more of a tablespoon. So this is the thing, some people like things really lemony, some people don't. 
So I say start with a tablespoon of lemon, and if you want it even more lemonier, you just add some more lemon juice or zest at the end, or just a big fat squeeze of lemon to your own serving. That's a mm -hmm. tablespoon. So that's a pretty big lemon. So you might want, if you get small lemons, you might want two. I'm gonna check my pasta, and we can put that lemon zest right in that cream too. So basically mm -hmm. everything is going in that cream mixture. Now I put garlic on the recipe when I do it, but traditionally it doesn't have it in there. You think we should add garlic or not? I'd say yeah. Okay. She's a girl after my own heart. Delicious. So, I'm gonna add two cloves of garlic. I'm not gonna put this raw garlic in the cream mixture. I'm gonna put it directly in my butter mixture. Garlic, and it has that little green shoot in it. If you're cooking it, it's totally fine. And then, the easiest way, we all know, just give it a pop, and it should just pop right up. Easy peasy, huh? So I'm just gonna put this garlic right in that butter. Now for butter, if you don't have butter, if you're out of butter, came in late and wondered if this, if that's Ina Garden with me. Oh, oh <laughs> now this is my friend Babs. I love Babs. Well, let's just pretend. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Oh, true story about Ina Garden. My sister, like, cooked Thanksgiving with Ina Garden. And you had to submit the whole thing, and it was a big deal, and all these people submitted. But my sister, she's an amazing writer, and, and it was going to be this big surprise. The head guy calls her back and is like, yes, we think it's perfect. Ina's going to be in Phoenix. It's great. We're going to do it. All the way, I was the last one. I yeah. won. Yeah. And she canceled. Why? She had to be somewhere else. But oh. anyway. All right, so my pasta is almost done. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. It's done. Okay. So... And how I do it, I don't like to get out a colander, so I just take it right out of the pot. But it's okay. Yeah. Look at there. So I am putting all this pasta straight away and getting each strand totally coated. All right. So the key is just get coated in the butter. So is it already right? Nice. Delicious. Then, if you are straining your pasta, leave out some of the pasta water because you're going to want it. So I turned off my heat. Now, in this, we've got cream. Lemon zest. Egg yolk. Egg yolk. Parmesan. Parmesan. Yeah. You can cut some parsley. You could use basil. You could use parsley. You could use thyme. You could use a tiny bit of oregano. Or you don't need any herbs at all. But look at all you're doing. This is the dish. And I'm just pouring this in. Getting out all the goodness because, come on, it's cream and cheese. Who are we kidding? <laughs> We're going to lick that bowl later. <laughs> then, this is key. You've got to really zhuzh it around. This is off the heat because if I did it on the heat, my cheese would and get clumpy. Now, the last thing I forgot to do, I was supposed to put lemon juice in there, and I didn't. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't matter because I can just put it in here. So I'm just going to put in, yum. Oh, my God. Can you smell that? Mmm. Smells so good. Now I'm going to get some cracked pepper. And look at this. Look at how Ooh. creamy. Delish. Can you see this? Yeah. Oh I my can. god. Yeah. And we're just gonna put a little bit of parsley in there to make it pretty. Mm -hmm. So I always say taste it. If it needs more salt, if it needs more lemon, if it needs more cheese, this is when you do it. But everybody's different. Mm. I got mine. Sorry, girl. Okay. I'm going in. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my god. I can't even tell you how good that is. That's so good. <laughs> Wonderful. More salt. Oh my gosh. So would you serve this in a bowl or on individual plates? I'll tell you a cool way to place. Okay. I would serve this with a little green salad and some crusty bread, or, um, and I would also maybe serve it with skewered shrimp on the side, chicken good. breast sliced on the side. I mean, it's just perfect so many ways. So what I'm gonna do, to show you how to plate it kind of fancy-like. But Okay, so yeah. what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a ladle and a tong, and we're going to scooch it around. This is traditionally used as a first course in Italy, so you would have like a proper main course afterwards, and then you just plate it just like that. It's beautiful. Is that so cute with a little bit of this? And a little bit of that. And a little bit of that. So look at okay. how adorable that is. Okay. <gasps> That's the little ice cream scoop of pasta. Well, That's yours. Oh, thank you. That's yours. I'm gonna have some. Mm mm. So good. So she didn't scoop hers up. So. I'm just gonna eat it straight. <laughs> so my question for you is: Do you like this format? Short little 15-minute pasta dishes, or just dinners in general? Do you like me cooking with a friend? Should we do it virtually too? So like I can cook with any of you guys. Any feedback is welcome. I just want to make it the best experience for you guys and teach you the best I can. So much fun. Yay, I'm so glad this happened. <laughs> well, we got a whole bottle of Prosecco to drink and some pasta to eat, so we're going to sign off. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Take care.